The pinpoint three kit that's coming your way um, is to convert one of your existing pinpoint twos into a pinpoint three. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, this kind of crude hand drawing here is roughly how your uh, pinpoint two extensions and VCMs are laid out on the machine today. And then we're going to look at a second drawing that basically illustrates how we're going to convert that to a pinpoint three. So you're, you're going to see in the kit that was shipped to you that <clears throat> I actually included all the extension harnesses that you're going to need. And the reason I did that is I want the pinpoint three to be a clean install, um, new valves, new extension harnesses, new hub. Um, basically everything on the boom will be new except the VCMs. And that's just so um, we don't have any challenges that we're not expecting uh, pop up. So quickly, this uh, hand drawing right here is what your sort of uh, pinpoint two architecture looks like today. So you got the pinpoint two hub sitting right here in the middle of the machine. And your machine is broken into a few nozzle sections. So you got the outer fold joint has 33 nozzles. Your next fold joint has 33 nozzles. And your center section on that machine or the back rack has 11 nozzles. So, um, and the, obviously the, the right hand side of the machine is a mirror image of the left. So. Um, the, these represent your boom fold joints um, that are on the machine, and this is how many nozzles are in that section. So across the back of that boom, right now you have 13 VCMs. And so you can see that uh, this VCM right here, for example, routes down and plugs into the hub. And then you have VCM 11 and 12. You take VCM 12 and you guys are running an extension over to 11, you're putting in a can Y and, uh, to plug 11 and 12 in together. And then you're running an extension from that can Y over to the hub. And then VCM 10 goes straight to the hub. VCM 4 and 3, right? VCM 4 runs over to VCM 3. Put a can Y in there. And then you drop that down to the hub. Your center section plugs in um, all by itself. And then uh, VCMs one through six over here are a mirror replica of VCMs eight through 13 over here. So um, if we look at this, each one of these lines going to the hub represents an extension going to a CAN channel. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine total extensions running back to the pinpoint two hub. Um, one of the problems with the way that this is currently installed is when we go to a pinpoint three system, the pinpoint three only has eight hub channels available to plug extensions into. So we're going to have to somehow take the nine extensions that we have on this architecture and we're going to have to pare it down so that it will plug into the eight channels that we have available on the pinpoint three hub. So I've got another drawing down here. I'm going to hide myself on the screen so I'm out of the way a little bit and just talk about how this, um, how this is going to uh, lay out a little bit. So basically the way that it's going to work is you're going to have um, VCM 1 and 2. We're going to run an extension from VCM 1 to VCM 2. I put a 7-foot extension in the box. You're going to plug that into a CAN Y. And then that CAN Y is going to have a 44 foot extension that plugs into CAN channel one on that hub. Then you're going to come over here to VCM three. You're going to run a 15 foot extension from VCM three to VCM four. Sorry, you couldn't see my cursor there. That's VCM one, seven foot extension to VCM two, CAN Y, 44 foot extension to CAN channel one on the hub. You have VCM three. We're going to run a 15 foot extension to VCM four, put a CAN Y on there, and then a 23 foot extension into CAN channel two on the hub. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Then you're going to have VCM five, a five foot extension to VCM six. We're going to put a CAN Y right here, and then we're going to put a 10 foot extension to plug into the hub. 
Your center section is still going to go straight into the hub just as it has in the past. Then we're going to come over here to the right hand side of the boom and we're going to make a mirror image of the left hand side of the boom just like we did. So the only difference is, is this hub is, is mounted slightly offset to the left. So you can see instead of 10 foot, this is 12 foot. Instead of 23 foot, this is 25 foot. And instead of 44 feet, this is 46 feet. So again, this is just basically um, your, your, um, your VCMs are still going to be plugged into the same nozzles that they are, but we're going to redo how those VCMs are plugged together. And I know one of the things that you guys um, really like in your installs is for the extensions to fit um, perfectly so that we don't have to tie back harnesses and, and make a super clean install. And we, saw, and we want to help maintain that. I took my best guess at what I thought these extension lengths should be to optimize your install for cleanliness. One of the things that would be helpful is if while you're converting that pin point two to a pin point three, if you could take note of what the proper extension lengths that you would want to have in order to make this fit really nice. Um, if some of these extensions for whatever reason are too short or they're way too long and you would like to shorten them, you can, uh, like I say, I sent all of these extensions so that you could do a fresh install. So you can borrow extensions from the ones that you're going to be taking off of the machine to make it work. I'll also make sure that I post um, these two documents again the way you're currently installing a pinpoint two architecture and um, along with this note right here, how to install, how to convert that pinpoint two into a pinpoint three. And then we'll also um, in, on new pinpoint three kits, we'll carry this same installation architecture forward. So again, these may not be perfect. Um, get them on the boom get them run, make any notes about extension links you would like to alter. And then we can, uh, once we create an actual kit, we can make sure that we have the proper extension links to your specifications.